boys and girls, it's Miss Scott. Guess what? It's the end of the school year. Oh my goodness. It's flown by, hasn't it? But not so much these last couple, what, months? Not quite two months, but over a month. We've been at home, and I hope that you've enjoyed my projects because I've enjoyed posting them for you. But uh, this is going to be our last one before summer break, and I'm super sad about it. Mm. So I thought we really needed to have some fun today. We need to do something that will make us think of summer and, and enjoy what's coming ahead. <laughs> summer is the kind of time that reminds me of picnics and uh, having, you know, hamburgers on the grill, hot dogs on the grill, just something that would be fun in the summer. So, you know, last week we talked about culinary art a little bit. We talked about that ice sculptor and how that can actually be a career. It is it is making food I mean, beautiful and making it, you know, an art at the same time. So I just thought that was a really, really cool thing to look at. So I thought, hmm, what can we do this week? I'm kind of on this kick of what can we do with what we've got at home? Because boys and girls, every day should be art. You should make art out of everything and everything around you. You don't have to have fancy supplies to be an artist and to make art. So I thought, hmm, what can we do? Hmm, and how can we do it with the things we have at home? So what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna play with food. I mean, I mean, we're gonna make something out of food. We're gonna be making something out of condiments, which is ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise, a little mayonnaise. So getting the idea of summer, summer picnics, playing with food. Um, we're gonna make a sunny looking face today to dip our cats our fries in or our hot dogs and it's gonna be super duper fun so if you can see I'll probably post right next to me uh, a picture of what we're making this cute plate of a fun Sun and you could do it any way you want to so for my younger grades which two colors make orange for our Sun you got it red and yellow Ketchup and mustard, it makes orange. Well, it kind of makes a dull orange. You know, paint would make a prettier, brighter orange. But this is a good orange, too. We like it. Mayonnaise, just because we want to throw a little bit more color in there. And something else. You might want to use some of these spices. Spice, spice, baby. So spice it up with a little bit of maybe pepper or I use paprika. Um, I use cayenne pepper. I also use peppercorns. Now that's something you may not have, but for the eyes of my cute little son and the nose and a little bit of detail around the eyes, I use peppercorns. Just a tip, when you do eat this, you know, you eat, you dip your fries in this stuff, I wouldn't eat those peppercorns whole. That would be so don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. But you may not have peppercorns. Well, put an olive down or something. You don't have to have something dark for the eye. It could just be a blob of mayonnaise with a blob of ketchup in it. Now, let's look right on the, over here in my kitchen a little bit. Well, back up and back up in here. So we're going to be making it in here, and I'm going to show you. So my face is no longer going to be here. It's going to be my hands, and I'm getting ready to show you how I made my sunny face. You can make yours any way you want to. It doesn't have to be like mine, but just wanted to show you a few little tips. Here we go.
going to do is eat it, right? Eat the stuff with whatever you want to eat. French fries, and I made two of these plates. This is one I just made really quick. This one I spent a little bit more time on. I had the peppercorns and stuff. He kind of looks creepy to me. I so there we go. We're going to eat some of these fries. Ooh. And I'm going to uh, dip it. Whoa, sorry. Mmm. And my beautiful creation, my edible art. Mm hmm. So fun. And woo, that pepper's hot. <laughs> Whoa, boys and girls. Remember, don't eat any of those hot peppercorns. Looked at an, uh, an email this week from a student. He wrote about um, the Hakusai, the great wave, the artwork that was in my online art museum. And one of the questions is, what do you like? And he said, I like the mountain. In this picture, and I'll leave some space here so I can show you the picture. In this picture, I have, um, you can see that, um, excuse me, you can see that there's a mountain in the background. And <clears throat> as you notice in the waves, the, the men on the boat are getting tossed around by this turbulent sea and it's churning and going, but always in the background, there's this mountain. I like that mountain too, and I thought about it. Why do we like that mountain? And I really think that somehow the artist is trying to tell you something. The artist is trying to tell you that even way, sometimes we get tossed around in life. Sometimes it's not fun, it's scary. Sometimes it's, it's just not good. And sometimes we get tossed around, but there's always something stable and maybe constant in the background, maybe that we don't see, maybe that's always there, like that mountain. You know, right now we've been out of school for so many weeks and it's kind of like we're on those waves. We're getting tossed around. We're not really where we want to be. And I just want to encourage you to look to the mountains. Look to that stable constant in your life because good times do come and they will come again. And we will get past this, boys and girls. And there is going to be another school year where we're actually making art again together. And it's going to be good. Look to the mountains. Look to those constants in your life. And I sure do miss you. And I'm going to be thinking about you all summer. God bless y'all. And we'll see you.